Hello, I'm Virginia, and today in Homemade Science, I want to give teachers a quick tip in having students become a little bit more familiar with making metric measurements in length. We start with an examination of the English units of measurements. I even have students try a few conversions to demonstrate its shortcomings. With the metric prefixes based on powers of 10, conversions are fairly simple. In my class, we use measuring distances more than any other unit. Now, I made up a simple activity that centers around using these bars of various lengths. Bars are labeled 1 through 10 and correspond to problems listed on our answer sheet. The objective is to practice making measurements and also making conversions. The first bar is very easy. I have students measure the bar. The measurement is listed on the bar with all four prefixes. Examining bar 2, students will find the measurement with two out of four prefixes. Based on a power of 10, the intuitive nature of the metric system should become fairly apparent and the conversion from one unit to the other is simply a matter of moving the decimal point. The first five bars have the measurement listed with at least one of the metric prefixes. The remaining bars all need to be measured. Now it's very simple to make these. Start by finding some scraps of wood. I think I'll add a few more pieces to my collection. Cut the wood down to the size that you want it. After cutting, sand all the edges smooth. Before I finish, I want to measure and make sure that the length incorporates even the smallest unit. I think on this piece I'll use the metric and the English units and compare them. I think on this piece of plywood I'll add some additional measurements, but I'll give them at least one. Here's 16.4 centimeters. Any writing to put on the blocks can be written on a computer and then printed. Cut the printing out. Decide how you want to arrange it on the boards. The final step is going to add some polyurethane, which is going to seal the wood and also acts as a pretty good glue to hold the writing down. Well, the pieces are dry. Let's take a look. Students are given the width. They have to find the length, the thickness, and then I want them to calculate the volume. 2 feet 10 and 5 sixteenths inches, or 88.3 centimeters. Which system is easier to use? What are the correct units for this piece? We can even make these pieces out of cardboard, but it's not going to be quite as durable. Well, there it is, some tips on measuring length using the metric prefixes for students that aren't quite familiar with it. Once they get the hang of it, I have students make additional measurements all around the room and continue to use them all year long. Now, in future episodes, I'll offer some tips and other types of measurements, including how to explain the difference between weight as a force versus the mass of an object. But for now, I want to thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.